I, I'm, I like walk around and I, I may as well like go dunk, dunk, dunk until someone tells me to turn and then I'll turn and I'll carry on and I'll dunk, dunk. Like, you know those, those vacuum things that just goes around on the floors like that? I'd done my, uh, I did my phone list yesterday when I got home over dinner and I had 97 calls yesterday. Really? And I was like, every three or four minutes someone was trying to get yeah, hold of me. Phones are on the landline though, do they? It's all on mobile. Got... Yeah, but it's when you get it's oh. when you get five missed calls while you're on the call to one person. Go on, count them. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Am I going to top Trump you? 28, 29, 30, 30 31, 12, 32, 10, 6. 33. 33. 33 97. Say, yeah, but you don't you don't answer the landline though. I'm far too important for that. Part, like, oh. if, if they don't if they don't have your mobile number, they're not worth your time, are they? Exclusive. Oh. Exclusive. If you don't have Simon from Urban Automotive's mobile number, he don't want to know. What I do, obviously. When, when he picks up the landline. <laughs> 97 calls. Okay, right. Oh, you've done your bit then. You've done your bit. Right, okay. I mean, it's generally chaos every day. We, it obviously, like every company, always have problems. Um, but we've always got ever growing changes that those problems, you know, cause. So, yeah, let's have a walk around and show you. All I can see is a sea of defenders that we need to build. Yeah. Like, just like, just defender after defender after defender. We never, we, we knew it was a cool car, but we never thought it was going to be a, like, what, 120 builds? Between Something now like and that, and now in September, yeah. September. I mean, so I just said about problems. <laughs> and, the, <laughs> and the first thing we come to right. is like the dent van. Right, okay. um, yeah, there's no dents occurred here, really. <laughs> Obviously, all handovers have to be done outside at the moment because of COVID. Um, but usually, we'll probably have what one to two details in per week. Yeah. One to two. Yeah. One to two. Yeah. yeah. Depends how fast he polishes, but yes. <laughs> this one is one a week. One, one a week. One a week. Yeah. yeah. What was it bad? Yeah. All yeah. oh, right. Okay. So the one we got in at the moment it was pretty bad. Um, obviously, you can see you can see the level it's gone to. I think this is cause away grey, the early. Well, it Maybe one of the two. I think it was. It was only a change. So obviously we're doing some work on that. We're getting the dents out of there as well. So all hands on deck. This is obviously being handed over in the next 20 minutes, probably. <laughs> yeah, another defender going on. What else is happening? So you can see there that the decals are just going in on the top light. What we do, we give customers free choices. So um, you'll see in a previous video that we did, we get a Union Jack, a Defender badge or an Urban badge. Um, this one's quite a, an OEM look. We've just um, we've just put the spoiler on, um, done some colour code in front and rear. I think that's all we've done on this. Yeah, not much. We, I mean, not everyone comes in for the, like the full overhaul. Obviously, we do various things where you just put a spoiler on or you'll just put on a light bar. This, this guy obviously uses his truck for the, the right purposes. He's more of a utility truck. It's actually quite nice with the colour coded rear. That's, that's cool. Well, that's the first one I've seen loads of these. Yeah, the checker, the checker, yeah. checker plate on there. You can get it on the wing mirrors, the wheel arches, and the side and the rear. I yeah. think people seem to forget that though. They think that when you come to Urban, you have to have the full Urban look, but you can literally pick and pick and choose. Um, in the Nero Bay is absolutely nothing. Um, I don't know what they're doing at the moment. I think a Range Rover's just come out of there, sat in red Range Rover. Uh, next in there is a military green. Um, uh, defender, another defender. So, uh, ramp one, we've got a uh, wide track G63 just come back in for some, uh, sort of for, for a freshen up. Um, then, as we move along, Lenny's on the phone. What are you doing? I'm just sorry, I've got We're in the middle of a video. Yeah, I know, but I've got to get this done, otherwise I forget, and then I'll get shouted at someone. By who? You Is it Holly on the phone? <laughs> 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 That's the only person you should be scared of. She's the only person that was scared of. Me and her. Of, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> you were saying to me, don't film the Ford car. No, but you've it. already put it out on the internet. No, it never looks at my thing, though, do they? Don't have a go at him. Don't have a go at him. You're, you're, you are the, 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 the only person that puts things out far too early. To, to, like, far too early. Right, I'll be shooting yeah. Mic drop. <laughs> right, so gain, gain, gain interest in it. Come and have a look at this. So this is going to be special, right? 
We'll give you a little sneak peek. We won't do too much, just a close up of the forged carbon, but you can see here. That's not the whole thing. It'll zoom in, don't worry. It'll, it'll zoom, zoom in and it'll show everyone what we're doing because it's not a secret anymore. I think this is available. I'm not sure if it's sold. It might have sold. We've got a couple of people that are really, really interested in it, but no deposit yet. So it kind of means it's still for sale. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So someone wants it, but they don't want it because they haven't put a deposit down. So if you're watching, you need to get your deposit in because it's going to sell to someone else now. The steelies look cool, don't they? I don't know whether we should do a 22 inch version of a steel. 22 inch steel. So you a get wide, like a wide, deep dish, deep dish, wide steel for that. Yes, yes. Get in the comments. What's in the back? Yeah, so in yeah, the we, back. We had a bit of a conversation about this, didn't we? I mean, it's, it's quite small. It's yeah. small for a but commercial it, it is what it is. I don't think I don't think we can. I don't think we can put seats in the back of this. No, because the trouble is with the seat converge, it's obviously a bench seat, so it sits like that. And because the front seats aren't tipping seats, you can't get in through the, the front two doors, so you'd have to go through the back. But because it's a bench seat, you'd have to climb over the top of it. I or... reckon if you pushed four kids into this, yeah. you could push them all in, right. and you could literally hold them and, and just... shut the door and slam yeah. it, and they'd just be pressed in. They wouldn't move. Fine. Crash yeah. test would be fine. I'm sure that safety <laughs> people won't mind that at all. <laughs> I'm sure that a lot of some parents won't mind that at all. They're rolling about in the back, keep them quiet. Yeah, so we're not sure what we're going to do with the back yet. We're not sure whether we can put a seat in, whether we'll come up with some sort of solution. Maybe it's going to be a shooting truck with a gun drawer or something like that. It'll be something called cool. coffee truck. Coffee, coffee machine. Truck. This is for the yuppies in London. You know, yeah. like Shoreditch. You know, like something, something coffee company. Open coffee company. See, see how the boss man's got a coffee? And the, uh, and the and the small cog in the machine has it. Coffee company, urban cocoa, down the side. <laughs> right, what's next? Number ninety on the ramp there, just being done. That's had a full colour code. Um, it's just have its wheels go on light bar spoiler. Basically, our design pack, which is what most have. I think this is having the same as well. You can see there on the roof, you've got the um, the tentacles that we call them, which is where it plugs into the roof light. Uh, we've got. Uh, another GT on the ramp, uh, which is just having our full kit, just needs its rear bumper as well. Um, again, that was one of the things that went wrong this week. We broke a bumper, so we had to make a new bumper, which was a bit annoying. Very, very, very expensive. Right. Talking of mistakes. <laughs> what did you order? So I ordered a silver transit. Right. Yeah, I thought, we're going to do the transit eventually. So I'll order a silver transit for our work. What was the colour called? It was something silver, wasn't it? Yeah, I, 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 I tried to block it out of my mind. So this is our silver transit. No, I'm not happy with it at all. I'm extremely embarrassed that I said yes to a silver car that's not, that's not silver. actually silver, is it? Yeah. Kind of like almost metallic hearing aid beige bronze. Gold. Yeah, bronze, gold. That's no, because once we put a kit on it and we've wrapped it a completely different colour, it'll be absolutely fine. A um, couple of finished defenders. Um, what we do with every car, it'll go in the light bay and we will snag every car. So if we've got slight blemishes on the car, they'll all get polished out before handover. Um, and that's done on every car that we build. Um, got a few things going on there. We've got a Urus uh, that's just been wrapped um, for a customer up in Scotland. Now what we do when we wrap a car, we'll bring in and out of the elements. So it'll be out in the cold. It'll be back in the warm, just so we can do wrap checks before it hands over. We've got another wrap car in there that's just being checked now. I'm happy in grey Disco 5 in the wash bay. Uh, this one, very well yeah, this one's got um, a nice feature on it, which is the silver edge to the, to the rim on the front and the rear. Um, full use of the kerbs in the UK gives that effect. Like, like the bumpers on a bowling alley, that's yeah. how they use the... Um, in April and May, we've got around nine Euruses turning up. This is the first of those cars. Yeah, so there'll be nine more Nero Euruses on the road in the next eight weeks. Grigio Carez, which is uh, one of my favorite colors, actually. I love this color it's combo. Nice. It's awesome. It's really, really cool. So this one's going to have our 24s full kit. I think it's having just a normal um, 2x2 twirl carbon. Do you know what is so underrated? What? Puddle lights. Urban I love a good puddle light. Urban I, puddle lights. I love a good puddle light. Look at that. 
That's a that's a particularly good puddle it's light. It's a really cool one, isn't it? Look. Just want to show off my new trainers. Are you both matching again? No, we need to talk about this. Right. I'm not going to phone you every day and ask you which trainers you're wearing, but I've only got one pair of trainers. You've got about 500, so you need to alternate a little bit, just alternate a little bit, just like we're not matchy matchy all the time. So, what else is happening in here? Yeah, we've got three SVRs in stock at the moment, um, all through build, all ready to um, drive away. Uh, one one grey and three black. Got various cars in build at the moment. Uh, lots of defenders, as you can see. Um, they're all in build. We've got our T6.1 program at the end, which is going a little bit slower than expected. Um, we've got two more T6.1s on the way this week, which will be broken down. And once again, the showroom has turned, turned into, into a warehouse storage, yeah, storage. facility again. Um, it was all supposed to be nice. Obviously, we don't have to focus on, on that at the moment because COVID, you can't invite anyone in, but it will return to its former glory. We've got a new um, logistics center opening in the next four or five weeks. So we've got a new location for all our parts, which will move out of this, which will free up some space in here, which we'll keep you updated on. I want, um, I want a nice flash handover bay that I keep asking for, you know, like turntables, leather sofas, PS5, beer fridge. You don't drink beer? Are you going to be last night? I did, yeah, yeah. That's what we had a stressful day yesterday. What a day yesterday. What happened yesterday? Oh yeah, we was doing lots of scanning yesterday, so lots of new cars going on. We have got RS6 Wraith, Golf R. Golf R will yeah, be a new one. So we're going to do a soft kit and wheels for a Golf R. So going for a bit more volume based sales, you know, um, cars that, you know. Struggling to find a split for my E-Class Coupe. Can you make me a split for my E-Class Coupe? Should have scanned it really, shouldn't we? Yeah, it should have gone on eBay, mate. There's none out yet. Anyone who's designed a splitter for a 21 model year E Class Coupe, whoa, whoa, whoa. thank you very much. Get this in is touch. It's not a medium for you to <laughs> advertise to get a, a, an E Class splitter for your car. Yeah, so that's it. That's what's going on this week. Um, next week, we will give you more of an update of the parts moving out and our relocation of the logistics centre and also the body shop. Uh, we've got the in house body shop now, which we will run you through as well next week.